All right, guys, so we got some brand new leaks. Looks like we're going to get a brand new banner and perhaps something else as well, which we'll discuss in just one bit. Now, it's the month of May, the month of the anniversary, guys. So, you know, there's going to be updates rolling out just at random dates. And if you guys want to stay up to date with everything Dragon Ball Legends, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe, and turn on notifications to be informed 24-7, guys. I, I was literally just about to take a nap, and boom, here I am recording a video. So, uh, you know, Goku Everyday Banner, like I've mentioned in the video this morning, that we should be seeing Goku Everyday Banner, and here we are. The only good thing about this, guys, is that we do see that there's LFs in this banner. They're not too stingy. Um, you know, I really thought that they, were gonna add, they weren't going to add any LFs. But to be honest, it's nothing too crazy. Um, you know, perhaps maybe the Super Saiyan 4 Goku is going to be getting a Zenkai in the near future. I definitely predict that. Um, you know, obviously everything else, you know, UI Goku. Uh, we got Dynamic Goku as well. And, uh, you know, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Now, uh, these are not bad units whatsoever, but they're not really meta fitting. But they're Gokus and it's 5'9", so it's Goku Day. So I guess it is what it is. The only thing missing here is Ultra Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku, which I told you guys, you're not going to add that character in the banner. They're just not. They're going to make that character come back right before the anniversary. Mark my words. Uh, so we do have this coming out, guys. Nothing too crazy. We're going to go over the Goku list as well. Uh, but we did get this right here now. We got a Demon King Piccolo PvP message from what it looks like. It's quite interesting, guys. Um, <clears throat> let me explain to you what I think, okay? So I think, obviously, this is Dragon Ball Saga. With Goku Day rolling around, guys, I do think that we might even be getting a free-to-play Ultra Kid Goku. Now, this is all speculation. Free-to-play Kid Goku would be obviously match 5-9 it's you know, Goku day and uh, you know the Goku Kid Goku is technically where it all started if anybody deserves an ultra or an LF it would be Kid Goku so um, that is like I said pure speculation take it with a grain of salt it's probably not going to happen uh, even to be honest with you guys but like, right here we are getting this PvP message as well as this now the Mi King Piccolo Dragon Ball Saga if you want to just take a look at Dragon Ball Saga for one quick second we still do need uh you know buff Roshi or any kind of Master Roshi to be honest we don't have any kind of relevant Master Roshi or even Dragon Ball Saga. as a matter of fact I was about to say Dragon Ball Saga but uh, we have the yellow Demi King Piccolo, which I use 24-7 on region. So I do love Zenkai Demi King Piccolo, but we might even be getting a new Demi King Piccolo, perhaps a Master Roshi, because obviously we see Master Roshi's move. Uh, here it's called Mufaba. I always mess up that name. Uh, and, you know, perhaps maybe a Kid Goku because it is Goku Day, guys. So let me know in the comment section down below. Let's speculate a little bit. And by the way, if we do get any more hints and clues in anything that we should be expecting, um, I'll keep you guys updated. And by the way, today is what? What day is it today? Today is... So today is... Man, I'm so lost. Today is the 8th, right? So right here, we're going to get... Um, tomorrow is going to be the 9th, right? Yeah. So tomorrow is the 9th which means that we should be seeing Zenkai previews if we do see a Zenkai. And as soon as we get Zenkai previews, I'll make sure to roll it out to you guys as soon as I can. Um, as well as tomorrow morning, I'll be coming out with Zenkai predictions because I'm three for three in the last, you know, Zenkais. Um, a lot of it has to do with like luck, but, you know, I'm probably not going to get it right tomorrow morning. So we'll see, you know, tune into tomorrow's video. Um, as well as Tuesday morning, I'm also going to roll out a video on the brand new updates that's going to come out Wednesday. And then Tuesday night, I'm also going to come out with more update videos from the leaks, guys. So a lot of stuff leading up towards not only Goku Day, the anniversary, pre-celebration anniversary, guys. Pre-celebration anniversary, we all know that the 28th is officially, I guess, um, the fourth anniversary. It's been confirmed. Uh, we're going to get reviews and stuff around that date. So somewhere around this area here, we're going to get, um, you know, obviously uh, the, the, the fourth anniversary. On the 25th is probably when we're going to get the pre-celebration started. And as well as right here on the 11th and the 18th. So we should probably see a two things, guys. This week, we should see a free-to-play character because that's the rotational free-to-play character. It's always anywhere from the 8th to the 12th. So it's going to fall right here perfectly on a Wednesday. So that's when the updates happen, as well as a brand new Zenkai. If they do decide to bring that new Zenkai now, the free-to-play unit is up for debate because technically we did get Gamma 1 for free. I don't know if they're going to count that as a free-to-play unit. I, I technically wouldn't because we can't even max them out to 14 stars. That's usually where free-to-play units are, is 14-star free-to-play units. So uh, quite excited to see who is going to, you know, what the leaks are going to entail because... Honestly, like the anniversary is like three weeks away. So usually the free to play character and everything that we should be seeing should hint towards the next LF for the fourth anniversary. Now, I don't think they're going to give it away. I think they might throw us a curveball in terms of the hints. Uh, but yeah, guys, I'm quite excited 
you know, this is something small, but we are getting wallpapers every single day. First day was obviously shallot, uh, which got me excited. And then right away, I got so disappointed because we got Krillin. Um, you know, some people were saying that this Krillin here represents Tournament of Power Krillin. Um, that's just, you know, who knows, right? Maybe, maybe imagine if we get like literally the next day we get 17 and then we get 18 and then it just crosses off all the Tournament of Power units leading up to the 28th. That'd be pretty hype, actually. I'm not gonna lie. Like, let's just say we get uh, Gohan, then Piccolo, and then Roshi. So we might even get a Roshi Tournament of Power, guys. Who knows? Free to play Roshi Tournament of Power. That is still up for debate because we have this right here. Um, it's actually one of my favorite moves in Dragon Ball, uh, the series in general, this Mufaba. Uh, but yeah, guys, you, you know, you know, like I said, I don't want to make this video too long. Comment down below uh, what you guys think this is going to be uh, because it could literally be anything. You know, we just got a PvP message, but hopefully they start buffing region and putting some respect on region's name, honestly, because I'm a region user. So uh, yeah, quite excited for this banner. I'm surprised they even added LFs uh, because they've been kind of greedy with gammas, you know, not even one star for the free gamma. So uh, yeah, I was like falling asleep in my bed right now. So I decided to record a video for you guys But guys if you did enjoy the video Make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button subscribe if you guys have not already I'll like the video because it's free and if you guys want to do support my channel even further There's a super thanks button next to the like button It would all go towards the quality of my videos and PC and stuff like that So yeah guys, I'll definitely catch you guys again tomorrow for another video and I'll catch you. Yeah, then have a good one. Peace